One thing that I haven't had here at the Rat Cave for as long as I can remember is a brake barrel air rifle. Whoa. And you know what? I forgot how good they are. Well, this one especially. Hi guys, this is Rack and Load and this is the Diana Entec 340 Premium. And it is very, very nice indeed. Really, really nice. I don't know, it's kind of weird. Diana, I've always kind of, I don't know, when you when someone says Diana air guns to me, I always think of like BB rifles and stuff like that. I don't know why. Is it because I had like little Dianas when I was a kid? Probably. Daisies and Dianas, all, you know, those sort of things. I don't know, but it just always strikes me as a bit of a, a, a make that sort of does, you know, um, how can I say it nicely? Cheaper, cheaper guns, if that makes sense. You know what I mean, guys, you know what I mean. This thing absolutely oozes quality. It feels so, so good. As good as a high-end BSA, for example. You know, um, it really does feel nice uh, to shoot. The feel of it, oh, it's just glorious. The trigger, really, really, really nice. This is a gas ram, so it's not a Springer gas ram, so don't matter how long you leave it cocked, you're not gonna compress a spring or anything like that. So that is a win. This thing would be an excellent hunter, it really would. Let me throw out some specs. So, first of all, so what are we called? I've already told you the name, but I'll tell you again. It's the Diana 340 Entec Premium, okay? They do do a compact version. This isn't, it's just got a slightly shorter barrel. Uh, but this is called, but it's got professional on written on the uh, on the top of the action there. So, um, way, well, available in 177 and 22. This is 22 version on test. Weighing in at 8.6 pounds. Overall length is 42 inches. Let's confirm that. This might be slightly longer. No, that's 42 inches. That's correct. Barrel is. Oh, just, just under 16 inches. Okay, sub 12 foot pound version this is. Uh, ambidextrous beach sporter stock. You've got a two stage adjustable trigger. And there, I don't like giving prices, but it's around, I don't really like giving prices because it always gets outdated. It's around between three and 400 pound, okay? Uh, the high, they are available with a, vol a walnut stock as well, if you want to go proper posh, okay? What a great little rifle, really great. And like I said, it's been a while since I've had a brake barrel in and when it's a gas ram, you know, I really do like the gas rams. It's the way it's the way forward, isn't it? It really is. Let's take it from the top. By the way, that is just a test scope. That's a hawk sidewinder scope. If you're interested, sports match mounts, bolting that thing on. Fully ambidextrous beach stock. I do love this about air guns. I've noticed this in recent years, probably the last, I don't know, 10 years or so. Yeah, probably no, probably between sort of five and eight years, something like that. I've just noticed all, a lot of, well, most of the air gun manufacturers have just gone ambidextrous stocks. I absolutely love it. It's an absolute win, it really is. And with air guns like this, it makes it totally ambidextrous, you know, with it being a brake barrel. So there's no sort of side lever cocking or anything like that. So you've still got a cheek piece on either side but like I say, it's ambidextrous. Soft recoil pad or butt pad, ventilated there as well. And you've got Diana's logo. If I can just show you a bit better than that. On the recoil pad or butt pad, whatever you want to call it. Plenty of grip there as well. Absolutely beautiful beach wood. It really is nice. Again, Diana's logo there. Sorry, it's upside down, but it's the way I'm holding the rifle. 
And then the pistol grip. You've got some gorgeous stippling there. Really is nice, offers loads of traction. Feels so good in the hand, this rifle does. And then moving on to the fore end, again, you've got this uh, stippled um, texture, plenty of it as well, and a nice fat fore end. You know, they've not skimped there. Nice and fat, and you've got Entech there engraved in the woodwork. Really, really nice. No sort of thin, weak bits, that's all. I like to look for that on, uh, especially on brake barrel rifles. Sometimes you get like weak points here that sort of make me cringe a little bit, but look at the thickness of the wood there. Rock solid, absolutely rock solid. Automatic safety catch on this brake barrel. Now, usually I moan about auto safety catches, but I only moan about them when they're on um, multi-shot PCPs. You know, when you want, when the idea is to get a fast follow-up shot and then someone bangs on a blooming uh, automatic safety. Yeah, it does my head in. But on this, it is an automatic safety, but it's only single shot, so it don't really matter. And as soon as you're in the firing position, um, you can just basically push that, that safety catch there, just push it forward. So there it's in the fire position. Um, so you just push it, basically just push it forward and you're good to go. Really, really nice. The action itself or the, the cylinder, whatever you want to call it, piston, piston cylinder, I don't know what you call them. It's been that long since I've had a blooming brake barrel air rifle. All minimalistic, really nice. You've got some engra engraving on there if you can see under my scope. Uh, it's Diana's logo and the model and everything, really nice. And then you've got, obviously, let's uh, let's just break it open. I'm not going to cock it. So there is your uh, ball bearing locking mechanism there. Um, oh God, it is, a, it is a bit of a toughie to cock actually. Absolutely solid linkages. Absolutely rock solid, no wobbling. No shake, no uh, rattles there on the technical rack and load shake test. Absolutely rock solid. Cold hammer forged barrel, rifled obviously. And then moving to the front end, you can see that it has got a moderator, silencer or can, whatever you want to call it fitted on this rifle as standard. It is still a little bit noisy, so is the, uh, the actual gas ram itself. Yeah, I know um, in my testing video um, of rolling footage, it's a little noisy anyway, because I've got like an angled steel plate as my backstop. So I don't really give tests as far as noise is concerned because that kind of overrides it. Um, but, what a real solidly built, really nice looking, really nice looking uh, brake barrel air rifle. It's really beautiful um, rifle. I just look, I really just love the actual woodwork on this thing. It really is comfortable, really is. The trigger is absolutely gorgeous. Two stage, uh, although the first stage is a little bit I wouldn't say wobbly, it's just silky, silky smooth, or, or uh, in technical terms, really light. Um, but yeah, the, the last stage is just really nice. Closer look at the trigger. It is a weighty one, this one is, by the way, guys. So really nice trigger on it. You have got a dovetail rail on there. Okay, so plenty of room to throw on your optics. How did it do in accuracy? Right then. So let me get the targets. This was with, let me have a look. Which did I get the best results with? Okay, I don't know, it's probably, probably about the same. So this is at 30 yards on my test range. My standard range is just 30 yards for air guns, uh, unless they're FAC ones. Um, 
Acapels, uh, FTs these were, 30 yards, boom. Okay, three shot groups, 30 yards. I remember that one, uh, third shot went through the same hole. So there's two shots in that one. 30 yards, just size comparison, there's my thumb. Happy with that, with the brake barrel, and it is a little bit bouncy recoil wise. Uh, JSB, um, uh, JSB exact Diablo jumbos, whatever you want to call it. Where's the where's the tin? What I've done with the tin? Uh, oh, I don't know where it is. Oh, it's here. Hang on. So yeah, I used that was for that was Acupal FTs for that target. JSB exact for that target. Opened up a little bit, but they are quite heavyweight pellets. Still not bad groups at 30 yards from a brake barrel air rifle that has got quite a bit of recoil. Quite a bit of recoil. Yeah, these, these pellets are chunky. These ones are really chunky heavyweights. Those things are. Shot nice though, really did. Good grouping for a brand new rifle that, you know, I always say this, brand new guns need a bit of whatever they are, be it air guns, um, you know, rim fires, centre fires. They need a bit of uh, leading up in the barrel, don't they? Just to, you know, get those machine marks out a little bit and just uh, dirty the barrel up a little bit. Just to give them, give them a bit more, what's the word, consistency. So pretty damn accurate, even with me behind the trigger, you know. What can I say? But gorgeous, gorgeous rifle. Uh, the manual, uh, it's okay, it's not bad. It's more of a leaflet than anything. So you obviously find your appropriate language. So English there, it pretty much just, it's an operating manual more than anything. Um, told you uh, how to uh, operate the safety catch and you know, it's got a few safety do's and don'ts. How to uh, adjust the trigger, uh, adjust the sights if yours has got sights. This one straight out of the box didn't have sights. So this particular one. So that's pretty much it for your um, for your for your manual. Not not amazing, you know, it's more of a leaflet, like I said, than the manual, but hey ho. I, I don't mind, I don't mind because the rifle is really nice. So yeah, it was good to have have a brake barrel air rifle, um, which like I said, I haven't had for a long time here in the Rat Cave. And it was nice to have a, a good one that shot well. So really nice. So yeah, my opinion of Di Diana, uh, because I'll be honest, I've never reviewed a Diana air rifle. I've owned a few when I was a kid, uh, God, I can't even remember what what makes, but I think they're only like sort of BB uh, rifles, you know, um, one or two. I think well, I'm sure it's a Diana or is it a Daisy? I could be mistaken. I'm getting old, um, but yeah, my opinion of Diana has really changed. I think I just had that sort of bit of a what's the word? Bit of a um, I don't know. Just just from years ago, I just I just automatically think Diana air guns or just think bb guns but no this is this is a premium high quality brake barrel air rifle and it's a good price as well you know and gas ram as well it's absolute bonus if you're in the market for a nice looking nice performing brake barrel uh, you can't go far wrong especially for the price you really can't you know um i'm, I, I'm gonna say I'm pretty damn tempted myself. You know, one thing I don't own at the minute. Oh no, I have. I've got one actually. It's not great though. I've got a Stoger. Yeah, it's not great. Um, brake barrel. But I'd, I'd seriously consider one of these. I'm pretty damn tempted. I'm going to say. Really am. But anyway, guys, that is your rack and load review of the Diana Entec 340 brake barrel gas ram air rifle i really like it i really do 
Thanks for watching. That's Rock and Load. See ya.